you know, going on to the leadership, and, and especially when it comes to uh, the place where I've seen it most, but it reflects in other areas, is in the um, the affiliate role when the Council of Michigan Foundations and and when the Youth Challenge Grant came from Kellogg, and the decision was to have every community fund or every community have access to the challenge money. The great what that did was two things. Number one, uh, there was a great deal of activity that says everybody had a community foundation. Everybody wants their share of uh, of the Kellogg uh, $35 million. We saw some um, growth of affiliates during that period. The two models uh, of leadership that I've seen in community foundations um, are, are significantly different. One is a a uh, philosophy of uh, the lead foundation. If the lead foundation had a philosophy of empowerment and really uh, forgetting the economics of whether it was going to pay for itself or not, the view was to try to help affiliates become uh, real servants in their community and to empower them to do that. Uh, those uh, foundation, community foundations uh, and affiliates uh, have thrived uh, for the most part. I think they've done well. Uh, the other um, end of that spectrum was uh, where the leadership style was one of control. Um, the preoccupation with uh, we can't have the affiliates doing something that might damage the image of the lead foundation by making a mistake or what have you, and therefore the um, uh, philosophy that watched affiliates very carefully, and it was, okay, we'll do this because we have to meet the requirements of the of the uh, Kellogg grant, and so we have to have the affiliates to cover the territory. But um, if we had our choice, we just should not have them. So uh, that was a huge uh, difference in terms of uh, the affiliate growth 